Morning people, what's going on? Welcome back to the Nerd Crate. In today's review, look at the magnificent wingspan. I take a look at you at my second loan from the TB's universe, that is. From Dr. Prime, my friend Daniel, T.T. Hongli's Red Falcon. Welcome back guys. So uh, if you're wondering, is he good? We'll get to that. There are good bits about him. Like, that's why I put him in this mode at this portion of the review, because this just is incredible. Looks great, really, really great. Except for a little, I don't know, kind of hornet part in the back here. Like the back portion is just a little too big. So you know what I mean, you know? This is, this is a little weird, this is a little weird, but overall it's a, it's a, it's a cool piece. There are cool pieces about him, but yeah, he's just, it's a really mixed bag. Like you will see that on the, on the final score, like the score is a roller coaster, man. Like it really is, but, um, oh, although I wanted to give you a little fact and I'm doing that now just for shits and giggles. Do you know who T.T. Hongli is? Just for a little bit of third party interesting stuff in the background going on. T.T. Hongli is the former Daban model. If you're into Gundam, that should ring a bell. And now we go into the back after I told you but I missed this. This is also in the accessories. There is a water slide decal sheet on this. So if you want to decal them up as a full Gundam, you can do that. Um, I found this after I did the whole review. So um, this is also the thing that he's coming with. Now we're heading to the back. So he's coming with a fair share of bits, but in order to talk about those, we always talk about the packaging first and um, it's a standard box. There's nothing special to it. No metallic things over it, metallic varnishing or embossed logos or parts of the art. There's, there's nothing. So we got the front art of him where we show the figure and it goes down to PF01 Red Falcon TT Hongli. Goes to the side, only the designation on the back, the Falcon mode and uh, one, two other shots. Nothing very special on the sides. This again on top, this way around. And below, warning, choking hazard and uh, stuff in Chinese. So with that out of the way, you already saw the magnitude of things and we head on over to the next bit of paper, which is the instructions. Um, they are okay. It could have been a way, bit more high res, I tell you fair and square. Could have been a bit more high res, but overall it gives you almost all things you need for the transformation. Just this bit here. Be mindful of that. That was weird. It says to push those together and then they are just under this plate of the bot. I will tell you that in the instructions too, the head actually slides up. It's omitted in the instructions. I don't know why. And you can miss a few things like when you need to uh, have the legs pack into the side pieces of the ball joints below here. So there you see it. Otherwise, pretty much all in there and the steps are explained okay, I would say, and leads you through most of the things for this guy. Um, this is another topic where we get to now real quick. Um, you see the head has a light up function. So that works pretty good even through the light. So uh, that's looking cool also on top here. And if I kill the lights real quick, you see it's glowing quite nicely. So uh, I think I think they did a good job. Um, besides that, to bring down two other accessories, he comes with two additional hats and they are on ball joints. The thing is, when you want to pull the head off the ball joint, you tend to pull the full neck assembly out. So be mindful of that. I'm not doing that today. What's cool is, what really is service and what not any other company actually brings is batteries not in one 
but two. So both heads and I see, oh, very bad paint tripping on this head here, dude. So uh, you saw that was already there. Um, but the additional, the additional batteries are appreciated and I think the smirk looks good and the simple face looks good. So uh, I think that's, that's all nice and fair. Otherwise, same, same details, oh, sprue. Bad sprue, bad. Um, otherwise, the same details as on the main head and we're looking at, at that in details. But to continue on with the light up feature, there's also this light up feature in here. The problem is uh, the accessing, um, the access point. Um, you have to flank all of this out. And then you have this little spot down there. And the thing is, the actual switch doesn't work um, because there's a wonky contact in there. So if you push in, then it works. If you let loose, it won't. Um, I need to see if I can get it out of there because also you need to exchange the batteries, but I think reaching that is hard. So um, I don't know about yours, but this has a wonky contact. Frowny face. Next up we got this base and also these additional pieces. So let's take this and combine it and do a little bit of presentation for these pieces. We got two swords. Those are cool. I like the plastic that they used for the kind of laser syringe slash blade. Very cool. Line details on the hilt, on the grip and on the blade part itself. Here looks all nice and it's a little, it's a little bent, but over it's looking fine. And uh, you get two of these. And they're pretty much inserted the standard masterpiece way. So you put that in the little um, peg on the hand, you slide that in and you close the hands around it. Not much else. So that is all good and fair. And these ones are extra blast effects. They're also nice and they pack in on his actual palms. You see, you got those slots here and then you got the, the blast effect and it has a little shape here. It's a little crooked here on an angle and you just slide them in and then he has uh, pew, 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 pew. Then to the base, a lot of line details, but it's all plain gray plastic. Although it seems to be painted I can't quite put my finger on it, but it seems to be painted and we have, it's not fully gray. There seems to be some, I don't know, blue or purplish hue mid within in this, in this gray. I can't, I can't quite put my, uh, put my finger on it. And we got this arm, also some more line details in here and it just packs in on the front additional cat hair in here and in here. You just push it down once, twice. And in comes this last bit. We got a little bit of a uh, of a cube-shaped attachment point in there to bring the legs out. You bring the wings out, and you slide this in on his buttocks real quick. That went easier the first go around, and then you can cover it up with a with the chicken legs, and you plug this in below here. Now where is it? Like this. And then he stands extremely secure. Also got this last bit that attaches in chicken mode. <laughs> I'm sorry, it's got me now. It, it, it's chicken mode. <laughs> and you bring this in and it slides in here around the ball packs here and also around this little uh, attachment piece here. It's sitting quite secure. And when you then bring in the stand again, you can have him um, flying rather gracefully, more gracefully so than on the ground at least. I mean, they're not, they're not supposed to sit anywhere either, but I mean, he could look really good sitting. So I think this is at least a cool look. The me, the idiot, of course, we also have his no race. And if you're wondering why he is that crooked to the front and looking weird, we get to that in a minute. These ones plug in very easy on the sides here and they, are, they look fine. We got blue on the top. We got some line details looking like a rocket, to be honest, and that's about it. And we got a slider here and you can get that up or down. Nothing much new. <laughs> oh my God, no. Really? What's up with all Starscream companies, guys? Jesus, then that's for you. Doesn't have a waist swivel. So putting him up here was a bit of a chore. Here we got old Starscream, of course. I don't know what's going on here. Uh, there, there are a few weird 
bits and pieces regarding this guy. Um, some stuff doesn't pack in. And you know what? To get that fucking elephant out of, the, out of the way, if you want to pose him and you want to pose him straight and you have him standing, then the legs give in. Give in. Um, the knees are way too weak. But we'll get to that. But I wanted to get that out of the way so you see it. You, you, you saw what I did. It wasn't much, but um, it happened. Let's talk about the styling real quick. I think the styling of this guy is cool. He looks very, very nice. Very, very nice indeed. We have the great head sculpt here. That's looking mighty fine. Uh, weird expression. I can get why people don't like it, but uh, we always have this kind of grin that works. Line details like vents on here, vents in here. We have teeth here, we have the eyes that all light up, you saw that. And you have yellow in the back here for the vents. That's looking nice. We have uh, sculpted turbines in here. I don't know why those don't go down anymore. They go down on this, they don't go down on that. That is weird. Hmm. There are some structural problems with this guy. I don't know why. Uh, line details on the cockpit. I don't know why a bird would need it, but okay. Uh, line details in here on the little kind of uh, matrix chamber thingy. It's nicely. We have uh, like bronze in here, bronze silver mixture with, with orange on the inside and it lights up, but it's a wonky contact. So hmm. um, this just kills me, man. This portion wasn't fully down. So there you go. Um, there's also painted head to toe. I don't know what this is. Some paint residue from the factory. Weird. Hmm. Uh, red mat, gray mat, blue, shiny, varnish down here, otherwise matte. Uh, line details everywhere. White stripe on here. Uh, not fully clean, like the blue is shining through. Uh, and the paint swirl here. Uh, talk about doing stuff right. Um, and we have some white down here that, that bleeds over onto the red. So, um, yeah, the paint job is not good. The paint job is not good. Also, the red on here bleeds through a little bit. And below here, we have more line details. Um, I mean, he looks, he looks really good. I like how he looks. But if you check those details, not too cool. Um, but vents here, more line details here. Blue here, spring-loaded for transformation. That's cool. This is die cast down here with, uh, I don't know if this is painted or if this is a pure die cast, but it's gun metal and blue on top, like I said. This is again, that plastic, weird mixture. But overall, I think he's, I think it's cool. Um, quick side view, so minimal backpack, depending on where you look at and if you like it or not. And the backpack with the wings, I think that's okay. So um, he is cool. He is cool looking, but um, he has some he has some severe problems. For articulation, we have the hat on this ball point, ball pack, ball point. What was that? Uh, going up, going down, and an extra armature that's coming out if you are changing the hat, which is weird. But uh, overall, it works, but doesn't sit too tidy on there. Wobbles around all the time. Um, when you get the wings out of the way, 360 on the shoulders. Good bit up, another paint smear there, Jesus. So uh, nothing more for the shoulder, this is fixed. Uh, biceps will go in 360 on here, double jointed elbow, gives you the full run. Pretty ugly, but it does the job. Um, we have this armature on the hands here, that's on a ball pack and comes out to the back to be attached here for bird mode. And we have the fingers that are all base pinned, but are all individually articulated and the ball pack on the top. So that is all nice. And of course, due to this, you get a swivel. Very nice. That is cool. Uh, same on the other side. This is one of the downfalls of the figure. It doesn't have a waist swivel. Not one bit. They have an ex extendable point in here for the transformation. Is it extended? No. Um, somehow doesn't go in all the way, but it's uh, it's weird. It's weird. And um, if you do an extender, do it that it kind of I don't know locks into place, and then you have a waist swivel. On this, I don't know. These flaps are fully unneeded, in my opinion. That is weird. 
Um, the legs have hard ratchets to the side, full front split, and soft ratchets front and back, full to the front, not so much to the back due to the wing pack, but it's okay. Um, second downfall of this guy are the knees. Overall, they are, they are rather good. You get this forward, get this out of the way, and then you get them back to this, but um, this is just super floppy. Not good, and like I told, like I, like I actually showed you, they, uh, they collapse easy, so not much power is involved there. Um, minimal rocker on the foot, that's not good goes down a little bit. This is for transformation. To me, this doesn't count. This is for transformation. So it goes down like this, up a little bit like this. So there's not much in there. So I think um, that's a big, that's a big downfall. That's a big, big downfall. Let's see what we can do on, on the live posing though. Um, but before we get to that, uh, and also transformation, some hate and weight. As for the weight, he is quite heavy. That works with a with a size 461 grams, and for size, he is 26.4 centimeters. As for posing, you saw that in my profile pics when you got the stand in there, you can you can get some stuff out of there, and then you need to depend uh, on the on the knees, you know. So uh, you can you can do that. But but let's let's just try real quick. I don't think it will work. So just to show you um, that there's a certain standard to my channel and I want to show you what's possible and what not. So even while I pose him, I don't, I don't think this, is, this isn't working at all. Although it could actually work having him running due to the fact that, yeah, I see that being a problematic. Uh, so, and then you can take the wings, yeah. The feet are, I believe, not. Uh, oh, could actually work. Yeah, see, will you look at that? If you take the wings as a balance giver, then you can hold a running pose. Hmm. See, anything else though? I don't. I don't think there's there's too much to be done. The knees are too uh, too soft. Not a good tolerance in there. So um, I think he looks most majestic if he's trying to look majestic so put that put him up on a shelf maybe extend the wings and be happy with him <laughs> sorry mochichi and here you got him with my idw decepticons and i would say that roughly fits but that he's bigger than megatron is weird you know full straight now but um I think this works the best. Like, we don't really know what the scale of this TB stuff is. And when we check real quick, like when I hold him back here to my KO Starscream, he is significantly bigger than the MP11 mode. So uh, make of that what you will, but um, he is a big fella. So let's get this guy transformed. Like I got it, get the arms out of the way, give you some space. Rotate the palms, close the hands, um, slide them inside the arm and pack them in on the back side of the arm here. After you've done that, you see the shape here and the shape here. There's this spring-loaded spring -loaded bit inside the arm. So bring the arm in on this double hinge and just collapse it as far as it can go. Do that times two and do not wonder if I fiddle around sometimes, these knees are giving me hell. Rotate the head 180, bring these bits up, bring the head out. You can also bring this down, this helps. Like this, out, over. So you have them like this, extend it, and then also bring this one down, down, until it sits over the head, kind of closing it down. Take the side flank pieces and rotate them in on this double kind of armature till they meet in the middle. And this is a little bit rough to do. 
there are certain things of roughness in this guy. Do this until they actually meet down in the middle. You heard the click while I was out there, so bring it down until they actually meet in the middle and click into place. This thing is driving me crazy, so we're just gonna lie him down. Um, you slide the head kind of up. There's not much to it, but you do it. Get your fingers in here and you bring out these. Hard to see what I'm doing with my armature in front of that. There. Times two. After you've done that, you take the whole thing and you split it apart a little. That gives you a bit more space for the next step, which is gonna be fun. Make sure you have the head up as far as it can go. And then you take the arms and bring them in on the slider while keeping them collapsed, which is not easy. And they are supposed to slide under this armature. It's best to do it one at a time because you also need to lift it because the space is not enough. And let me tell you, my fingers are hurting at this point. And the tolerance of the slider is not good. So if you need to take him down, put some force into it. I really recommend that. Otherwise your fingers are like me, red and hurting. Extend the neck. That is something uh, that I tend to forget. So then you are left with the upper body that is supposed to look something like this. Next you take this one down and this one up. This also rotates. So rotate this 180 while you're at it. Other way around is better and plug that in there. Then you have even some, you know, some, some, some blend over it. So I think that's cool. Straighten the legs out. And now you want to unfold the wings so that it makes sense. They are packed in here via this pack in here. Not much of a problem. Do that times two, extend it. And you also bring it all the way around. This tightness of this piece here could have really been used on the knees. So turn those around. Bring this one around. These come down all the time. I cannot remember doing having it done once where it doesn't unpack. So you have this. It packs down below on this portion here. And it also goes in between this little rail in here. It's rough to be done at the same time, but do your due diligence. And it's actually pretty possible to do a nice looking wing. All of this times two for a super impressive wingspan. But next you get the wings out of the way, you unfold the hind legs, unfold the claws, form a anatomically sense-making foot. Bring these pieces out of the way. Coming to the legs, you rotate the knee pads forward, press this button, and then you collapse the legs all the way to the back and these ones forward so we have the actual thrusters. And you bring this all the way down, which is kind of rough. It's not fun because you need to move it around these pieces. If you're fed up me, fed up like me, unpack them, bring them back down and plug them in so you have the straight surface. When you're at this point, make sure you have all of this sitting flush. You rotate these down, you take the legs and they roughly, not good, they just sit there and pack them in to the sides of the thighs. Make them again anatomically correct. Unfold these, swing them up, pack them into the sides of the legs. I don't know how they're supposed to sit there, always kind of colliding with the with the chicken legs, but uh, then we're done. And then you're left with this, and you're wanting to present him gracefully, and he's doing that. This thing is crushing my hopes and dreams left and right. This thing is pretty bad, pretty bad. The legs won't hold nothing, like really nothing. So get the negatives out of the way. Um, no light up feature here. 
Um, you can have the guns, they plug into the sides, but I'm not giving a damn about that now. Um, a lot of stuff unpacks. The ball packs are a catastrophe. You have to do, I don't know, workarounds everywhere. And when you're done and you want to put him up with his wingspan, he looks like this. He's doing that. Like, what the hell? If you're doing that stuff, do it right, really. Also, the back, is that a hornet or is that an eagle or a hawk or whatever? Like, make up your mind, you know? I mean, he looks good, he really does. It's a great piece. Head is on a swivel here, no rotation, sadly. The legs are on ball packs, but they are not well tolerant. They don't pack in, so you can't do nothing with them. Double jointed knees, if you count it like that. The claws actually articulate, so that is fine. The plastic quality seems okay. Um, and even, wasn't that the case? I believe even, yeah. Even the beak opens, so you have laser beak scream or something like that. That's super, yeah, sadly super unstable. So, um, but I mean, what I like is that they covered up the head with this. That I appreciate. More companies should do that. So um, there are good things to this, but it's just a mass of mistakes on this that really are his downfall. Sadly so. Final thoughts. And that was him, TT Hongli's Red Falcon. The question though remains, is he good? And with a few outbursts, I think you might know the question. Um, ish severe case of ish the packaging is like it feels ko-y already you know this is the box that i got my ko star stream yes i know i got a ko <laughs> ah, got it you know it's the same kind of flimsy weird cardboard box not much to it keeps it safe i guess but overall i don't know what chosie's done with this man or i don't know dhl anyway it's, keeps it safe but it's also super cheap clamshell in there so ah. the appearance gets elevated then through this guy there's you just look at him and he's cool but to, to, to go over then to the articulation engineering faction when you look at him and if you have looked at him and you are then starting to fiddle around with him he's he's starting to to break apart you know there are there are certain joints that are good, like in the shoulders, and you've got double jointed elbows, and you've got single jointed articulated fingers. That's all good and fair, but the knees, you saw that at the first portion, the knees just, uh, it just topples over. There's just no way that he's really standing a stable pose, except for running, and if you take then the wings as a balancing point, you know? So this is, this is kind of weird. The painting overall seems good on this to go to that portion but there are just so many splotches and smears here again it's a new point like ahead of starting things there was some red stuff over here S smeary wet white bits over here the paint bleed it's not fully covered and then on the other side i see this here reflecting in the red you know and sometimes it's then it's then so good like it's really really inconsistent and that is sad i was really looking forward to this guy but this is just this is such a letdown. This is such a letdown. Like also on this on this joint here, like bubbly color. Uh, I mean, yeah, accessories then on the other side brings you a lot. You know, you get the stand. So if you want to have him like, that's really cool. It's also seemingly painted and uh, three heads, all with batteries. The light up there works, but the light up in the, in the, uh, in the cockpit, not so much wonky contact so like i said there's so many weird things you know like where did i give it two points with the playability like the transformation works you know let's get to that the transformation works the transformation is kind of fun except for the for the inside where you slide the arms together that is rough like i was i needed to get some force in there but i was actually like ah so, oh, that's so inconsistent, man. This guy is really inconsistent and it's sad. It's really, really sad because he, he overall, he looks very, very cool. I like, I like the styling of this a lot. And this is why I'm checking it out on my channel, you know? So, um, 
I think that's that's pretty much all I can tell you about it. Materials, the materials feel very fine. I don't see any breakage on that, so that just said that you know. But um, um, also that you know, he's sitting for 140 bucks on TF Robots, and for that price, I can't recommend it. Or only recommend it if you say I want to have this so bad. I pull the trigger, man. But mind my warning, you know. And final thing, man, no way swivel. This is such a letdown. Like also when I see here, you know, here's the back armor plating. Let me let me show that to you quick. You have the back armor plating here. You see that? This is sculpted as two pieces, but it's one molded piece. Why not split it there and have the pullout portion then reveal a ball joint to have a waist swivel? So sad. Also that the legs don't hold anything. I'm really like, this is a purpose I'm actually stalling today because there's so much where I think this guy looks so good, but this is so sad. The inconsistency just kills it so hard. It's just sad. It's really a lot of potential wasted, you know. Anyway, what does a cat say? Pretty cat. What do you think of that dude? Hmm? Hmm? Oh, yeah? Yeah. Yeah, you like that guy. That is good. Thank you. Yeah, it's pretty much pretty much my impression. She likes it overall. But then again, she didn't need to transform and everything, right? So with this, I hope you enjoyed. I hope you can. I, I could give you some help if you, I don't know, strengthen your decision or I don't know, like tell you nah, better not. With any way, whatever you like, whatever you do, you know, I hope I hope you enjoy. And if you stay away from him, at least there's money saved, right? So uh, with this. It's dark outside. I'm doing this late. I wish you a great evening. I wish you a good week whenever you watch this. I wish you a great weekend if it's late that you watch it. And otherwise, I'll see you on the next video. Be good. Be well. Bye-bye.